Guys, what's happening? In this video, I'm going to be reviewing, setting up, and basically showing you this. I've been sent it out. I've been sent out a sample. I think it was due to me other video because I was showing people how to spot a fake SD card. If you haven't seen that one, I'll put the link in the description and you can check it out. It's a bit of a long video because I never shut up. This is the Toshiba. It's a Flash A 16 gigabyte memory card. It's an SDHC. It's class 10. You can get them in an 8, a 16, and a 32 gigabyte. The model of this one is the W02. And there's not really much to show you on the box. It says you get a five year warranty with it, so that's always good. I've already took this off myself because I was I was trying to I was trying to pick it before and it just wouldn't come off. So I've to speed up the process of this video, I've done that. And then we'll go in here and we'll have a look. Right, we'll, we'll put that down. We'll have a look at that in a second. There's the actual card. I'm guessing this is going to be one of them tough ones to open. And it looks like it is. It looks like it's going to be a tough one to open. Right, we've opened it. And I've dropped it already. On the card, it doesn't really tell you much. It just says flash here. It tells you what model it is. W02, wireless LAN, 16 gigabyte, class 10, SDHC, Toshiba. And it says it was made in, it says it was made in Japan. Loads of the ones that I have had, memory cards, are China. Oh, this looks a really big user manual to me. It's probably not that big, it's probably just in that many different languages. What we've got here, I'm going to have a quick look through. Um, blah, 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 blah. Setting up the product. It tells you you can get the app for the Android phone. Or you can get it for the iPhone. So obviously I'm going to get mine for Android because I've got mine on my tablet. So I'll, I'll get it. I'm sure I did say there though you want to change your password. For hackers or something like that. Which is probably true. It's probably got a default password in it like ABCD or something like that. And then you'll obviously want to change that so, so no one will hack your pictures or whatever. Right so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to that if you give us two seconds. As I suspected, my battery was dead on my camera, but for the meantime, I've just got my tablet there. And I've went on the Play Store and I've typed in Flash A, and I'm going to click this first one. And that's it. This is the app what you want. When I've just been reading the instructions there, it did say that the, the, the wireless would automatically turn on, but it says it turns off after five minutes, so make sure you pretty much sync it up be, before the five minutes, because it, it turns itself off automatically. So I'm going to install this and then I'm going to give it a try. Right, I just thought I'd show you the first time I'm going to use this. Let's hope the battery has got enough life in to even turn on. Because I've only charged it for five minutes. Is it going to, is it going to turn on? I hope it is. The date, I believe, is the 28th of the 9th, 2015. And uh, I'm not really, I'm not really bothered about the time or anything. So if we just, we'll snap that, and then we'll snap that. Just took a picture of me, my bathroom there, and the carpet. And then if I leave the camera there, I come to the tablet. Let's see what we do on this. Just swipe to right there. This is this is the initial thing. What comes up? So if I slide along, yeah, it says it's turning on. And then it says up here, it says it's searching for a flash A. And then enter, enter password, default, one, two, three, four, five, right? So I'll enter that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And then it says it's connecting. And what, what's this? This is just saying, saying, do I want to change it? To be honest, I don't want to change it. But if I was you, I really would change it. So if I click on photos, and then I click on that photo, there you go, that, that's it. And then if I swipe along, that's the flow. I'm actually really impressed with that, it's, it's a really good idea. So it means you can, how does this actually work? Can I, if I click on a photo, can I download, oh I can, I can download it. There's a little, if I click that, there's a little download button up here. Or there's a share button, or there's an open. So, if I've got this open, the camera... Um, if I press that button, if I actually take a picture of me tablet, right, I've took, I've taken a picture of the tablet. Let's see how long this takes to send across. Is there any way I can like pull it sync? 
press sync and there you go it's pretty much instantaneously so that was me unboxing and me set up review i suppose of well me review i haven't really quite done a review on it but overall i think it's a really 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 good idea let's see this camera that i've got when you've seen the set up the date i'm sure i came up saying 2006 i think that's pretty much when i bought this camera it's like a really really old one 7.2 megapixels is like terrible i've got more than that on my mobile phone this one like i said doesn't have wi-fi more modern cameras do they all seem to have wi-fi or they've got that nfc where you kind of if you've got a camera and you've got another camera you just rub it and uh, somehow they send across but this like i said it's a really really good idea how you can just send the pictures to your to your phone or to your tablet whatever you want i've got fast wi-fi so i'm guessing that that could be one of the reasons that it's sent across so fast when i synced it but there you go that's the little toshiba wo2 flash here 16 gigabyte memory card